What you're looking at here is the GLF 500F induction electromagnetic uh, bottle sealer. And I use this to seal thousands of bottles. So I'm just going to give kind of an overview. I actually don't have any more foil seals, but I'll show you everything about it and how it works. And there's a link in the description of where you can pick this up. It is something that is produced in China. And so I was a bit leery. The instructions weren't great. But it does the job. So it comes with this unit here and this handle with the wire. You plug it in. You need to set a timer and then you push this trigger. It sends out an electromagnetic um, frequency that seals the foil liner. Now you can buy bottles with sealable foil liners already installed in the lid. So you put the lid on. I actually didn't go that route. I went the route of having the foil liner. It was cheaper to just have one put in and then placed on the bottle like that. Now, depending on how big your seal is, how thick it is, and what kind of seal you want, you have all these options here to adjust the seal time. And this is in seconds. You can reduce it or you can increase it. I don't think I needed to go over for the bottles that I was doing. I don't think it was over even two seconds. And then I had the, we'll go ahead and, so, the, so this is to adjust the time. And then down here, there's a scale of one to five for the power. So we'll put it on low power and we'll put it for two seconds just to show you. And I'm going to take off my Apple Watch <laughs> just in case it does something to it. I don't know if it will. And so what I typically did is I would actually have a metal plate or, and, a, and a stone countertop. I didn't want any kind of weird <laughs> radioactive reactions going on. So I just put this on and then you pull it, push the button on the top. And that was it. It has a counter here to see how many bottles you sealed. If this had it had the seal, it would be um, totally sealed, and a failure rate of probably one out of 500. Honestly, it was or less, even one out of a thousand. As I was doing. Uh, runs of about 300 I would occasionally have one so that fan turns on kicks on and will turn off once you're done I'll go ahead and turn it off there um, so it just cools the machine down but that's the um, that's the device it works exactly as you would hope and I want to show you something now I ended up Skipping this, depending on what your material is, depending on what your material is that you are bottling, you may not need that. And these caps that I were buy, was buying had this foam liner, so I would uh, put on the cap. This is what I did after I stopped using this. This worked great. Left a nice almost glued foil seal. But I would get these uh, shrink bands and I would put the cap on and then I would use a heat gun and it would seal the bottle. What I also ended up picking up, so I'll put a link to all this stuff in the description. So what I also ended up uh, getting to help this process go faster, depending on how many bottles you are filling, I would have the, the product in the bottle and then I'd have the cap just placed on top. So has kind of an assembly line and then I picked up this device and it has different size bits and it screws on the caps and once it reaches a certain tightness it just stops spinning so this was a great addition it saves your hands from getting very uh, sore it guarantees that you are tightening the bottle to the correct tightness not over tightening and it made the whole production a lot faster. So you just put it on. And this has 
a rubber cone uh, material so it grips the lid and it can accommodate for any uh, any size but you put it on push the button and it's screwed on now I've noticed sometimes kind of over tightened it I don't know if you can see but there's little bits of black plastic that kind of got worn off of the top of this bottle but the lid is on it's on snug I'll have to exert actual force to open it up so I'll put that in the description below if you're going to be bottling anything by any anything more than maybe 50 at a time you'll probably want to pick this up as well but both of these uh, do the job fantastically and uh, if you want more videos like this I've got a bottle filler that I'm going to be uh, including in the next video um, but like I said link in the description let me know if you have any questions I'm done with this business that I had I was selling uh, printer ink um, print head repair kits and so that's what I was using this for but uh, let me know what you think if you have any questions about the unit or suggestions of something better than this let me know in the the description below I'd like to hear it but I hope that helps if you're looking to start some kind of business where you need to fill bottles give you an idea of how to seal them how to get those caps on quicker and like I said, I'm doing a bottle filler video next. So thanks for watching.